Okay, viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Ogre Battle! Yay! And this is Mr. Joseph. Last time we completed the island of Avalon, and there's nothing really to do there in the aftermath, so we're going to go to the next level now, and that is the Castolian Seat. As we load that level up, you should note that I have, as I always do, uh, taken a look at all of my units, and we have made some decisions about which ones we're going to deploy in this mission. You should know that this is a very story important map. Um, first and foremost, 70% of the map is water, as you can see here. So you might think about getting some water or high-flying units. Second of all, um, we're going to leave a lot of the cities unliberated. There's a ton of cities. Even though you can only see one you know, two, three, about three or four cities. There's actually, um, and I don't know the, the, the exact number, but there are so many hidden cities on this map, it's not even funny. There's uh, probably five hidden cities, maybe six. There's also a couple of hidden temples. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and start deploying units in a strategic fashion. So I'm going to start, for, first I'm going to be moving my guy up to here to liberate. I'm going to deploy... Let's do lands for the base guard, huh? Just for now. And then we're going to... Let's throw out Aisha. Aisha's our new water unit. She replaced the uh, Prim uh, character. Um, I don't want her to fight very much because she's already pretty high level, but she is water, so I'm going to send her just aimlessly off in this direction and see what happens. Uh, she'll be over there and we can use her if we need her. Victor is a planes unit. He's going to do... I think I'm just going to have him on city garrison patrol. He's a little underleveled, so that's why I'm deploying him. Let's put him here with my main guy. Let's just, um... I'm going to deploy units 8 through 10, which are evil units. And they're just going to back up everybody else and uh, hopefully gain some levels. Okay, and then finally I'm going to deploy Gilbert and Prim. Put Prim up here, and Gilbert. Now, it's a lot of units, and frankly, I can't afford to have all these guys deployed without liberating a couple cities. Unfortunately, I do want to keep some of these <laughs> cities available for alignment gain, so it's, again, it's a, a little bit of a tough thing. I'm going to definitely li liberate that shop city as soon as I can, and the truth is I just might lose a little bit of money on this stage, um, but that's the way it goes. Okay, so I liberated this one. By the way, we're almost at the point now where we don't need our high reputation, so we'll be dealing with this issue of having to keep cities unliberated so we can restore our reputation in the very near future. Okay, this guy says there are a lot of cities on the Castellat Islands. What? You don't mean? What do you mean you don't see them? Okay, sorry, I can't read. Okay, the main goal that you should have in this map, actually, is to go ahead and liberate the temple, which is going to be right up here. It's, I think right about here. Um, and I think, I think I will go ahead and liberate one of the hidden cities as well. Uh, which means that I'll be sending two units up here to, for guard duty. Let's go ahead and send four mines since he's low sky. He's going to just kind of chill right there. And we're going to we're going to send <coughs> we're going to send one other unit up there. I may change my mind about how many units I keep up there. Send Prem Forest. I think the city's right about there. That way we can make a little bit of money. I will tell you right now that there is... Oh, we got a neutral character encounter. Let's see who it is. I think it's going to be an octopus. Why not? Okay, so anyway, there is a temple down here. And then there's a city, I think, right here. And... Okay, there's a temple city. Okay, there's another city right on this island here. And there's one up here. And there's one between these mountains right about there. There's also a city down on this island here. And there's the temple that we need to find. And if you have a high enough reputation, something very special is about to happen. Okay. 
Okay, good. That's even better. More, we have more reputation. Very nice. We'll keep that card. Brunhild, yay! The Brunhild is the most important sword in the game. It's also a plus 20 strength sword, so it's an extremely good item, too. I'm ac I actually changed my mind about that other city. I think I'm going to leave it unliberated for now. And I'm just going to... Just go, go at this without liberating any more cities. I'll send four mine over here for now. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put Prim back in a, a place where we can use him. Okay, there's the city, but I'm going to leave it unliberated for now. So put Prim back down here with the other guys. Who's, why is uh, Gilbert just chilling here? That's weird. I'll send him down here, too. Okay. So, we're well on our way here, Aisha. I'm going to send her to determine whether a city is on this island, which we know there is. Cool. Okay, good job, Aisha. Leave it unliberated for now. What else could Aisha do? I guess she could go up and... Oh, yeah, she could go up and find there's two more cities up on these islands, too. So how about we just go right up there? Alright. Should be fighting the enemy right about now. Where did I send Joseph? Is he in this group? Yeah. So almost all of the enemy units attack from the sea or the sky, as you might suspect. Just making sure there are no ghosts in the, any of these units. Okay, lands. Let's do it, lands. Now, we're getting close to the point in the game where I'm going to actually start cutting out some of these battles, so don't be surprised if there are some video gaps. Or at least I'll speed them up. Okay, so that didn't go so well. Let's take a look at their level. They're level 10 and 12. My guy's like level 8 and 9. So I'm glad we're going to get some experience in this level. Cohen needs to get some experience, definitely. <coughs> Good job, Cohen. And Gilbert. Gilbert is way under level as well, but he's doing he did okay there, yeah. Not bad. Good job, Gilbert. Gilbert's doing pretty darn well. Pretty darn good. Well. Doing well. Uh oh. I spoke too soon. I gotta be more careful about that. Okay, Gilbert will revive. And let's take a look at um level. So eight, nine, nine, that's good. Oh, ten. That's great that they killed the lowest level one. I might send Gilbert to chase down that one that's fleeing. Yeah, I'm going to have Gilbert go clean these guys up. Hopefully I can gain a couple levels at the same time. Prim is the all Valkyrie unit, more or less. And so they gain some levels there. That's good. Cohen going to deal with this uh, mermaid unit here. By the way, those gray octopuses are called um, Krakens, which is kind of funny because a Kraken is a large, massive mythological beast that's not really that similar to an octopus, really more like a squid, but um, they cast Maelstrom from the back and they attack from the front like an octopus. They're pretty good, but you know, they're hard to raise from scratch, so I'm just going to stick with my octopus. Okay, good. Gilbert's going to clean this guy, clean him out. And the guy got a level, so that's good. So we're at level 10, level, I'm guessing, 10 and 9 with uh, high alignment, interestingly enough, developing, so Kind of a weird unit with uh, high alignment, high alignment, low alignment, you know. Looks like they're kind of leaning towards higher alignments, though, so that's good. Uh, well, I guess. I'm just going to kind of go over that island, see if anything happens. Maybe I'll send Gilbert up to reinforce this guy, because it looks like they're sending units up there. Okay, Victor. Take him out, Victor. Victor's not doing well at all. Victor sucked. Um, but this is why we uh, have battles to improve our skills, so let's see if Prim can do any better. I think I think Prim will do better. I probably need to put some items on these front Valkyries, because their strength is too low. So how about we put some items on them. Um, Dragon is plus 5, Euros plus 15, Eskandel plus 15. How about the Euros and the Eskandel? I mean, gotta use these good weapons somewhere, right? 
So this is going to make them more like uh, 80. No. Yeah, that, that's much, that's a huge improvement. Good. So they'll be actually, you know, relatively decent frontline fighters now. Okay, so Joseph met with the unit. I, I really gotta try to avoid this. The bad thing about this level is it's hard to stay out of harm's, out of dodge's way. Or get the heck out of dodge, I guess is the saying. With your unit. So I'm gonna move him right up into the city. So he's a little bit protected. Victor, take him out. And Prim, good. So, uh, watch this. Oh, okay, well, I was gonna try to show you a front level, a front row attack there, but didn't work out. Make a shaman while we're at it, that's good. Prim is coming along nicely, actually. Um, other than that alignment in that front row there, doing very well. Gilbert moved, okay. So let's let uh, Victor get this guy so we can get some experience, hopefully. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, Victor. Level 8. Level 8. Good. That's Oh, and a high alignment night there. Moving up. And doing well there. And doing well. Need that shaman uh, pretty soon. Holy crap. So... Okay, we're bankrupt. Great. Um, who do I want to return? How about we put the Valkyrie guys back? They uh, did a nice job gaining levels. Okay, are we still bankrupt? Okay, great. So to return at least one more unit. Okay, this sucks. Um, Aisha, we don't need you. No offense. You're expensive. You're like five thousand, sixty-one hundred. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of you. Okay, this this is not how I like to play, guys. Um, just so you know. Uh, but you gotta do what you gotta do, and. The reason, again, for our financial troubles is because we're desiring to get to the Witch Deneb, and therefore we've left just a ton of cities unlib uh, unliberated, which means we haven't made as nearly as much money as we would expect at this point in the game. But don't worry, guys, because this will get better. Okay, we won that somehow. I gotta get Joseph to stop fighting. Maybe if I start sending him just around randomly on the map. He's a very good unit, but really don't want him to be fighting right now. I'm going to send him down to discover, but not liberate this Russian temple. And Victor. Take these guys out. I think we're going to win this battle. Good. I just realized that Victor's all by himself there. That's not good. I need to send a uh, evil lines unit up to help him. Who's all here? Oh, yeah. I don't even know why there's two down there. I'll send this. I'll send Warren up here. Okay. Warren's going to kick ass. Okay, so we found the temple. And Cohen is going to kill this unit. Actually, we're going to go chase him down. And Cohen's chasing him down. Kill him, kill, kill, kill. There we go. Good job, Cohen. be nice if I'd get some nice items, you know. Maybe a crown or a blood or something. Anyway, send Joseph, uh, let's have him discover this city. Basically right now I'm in this kind of phase where I'm discovering but not liberating cities. And they caught up to me, that's fine, whatever. That's okay, we can get a little bit of action, I'm not too worried about it, I just don't want much. Uh, okay, well I guess it's gonna get some action. The good news about this unit is it's so damn good that it doesn't really take damage, per se. I mean, it does a little bit, but not very much at all. And so, it's really nice for, like, uh, you know, damaging the enemy and then not killing them, because it's not really designed to kill off the enemy at all. So I'm going to keep using him to discover the hidden cities, and you can kind of use this as a guide when you want to discover these hidden cities and possibly liberate them, and maybe some of you are playing without the intent to get denim, and you're liberating the cities as you go along, and that's that's great. Um, you know, and this will help you find those cities. Okay. 
so there's one up, up, up on this island. Um, okay, Victor, take him out. I really want Victor to gain a couple more levels because they're they just suck right now compared to the enemy. Um, okay, and then Warren, Warren will win because it's nighttime and he's got those werewolves and two mage, a mage or two. Let me take a look at Warren's level. Okay, there's that city there. Cause I feel like these guys should be eligible for mage soon. Yeah, they will be soon once they get below 35 alignment. Which should happen any time. Okay, let me take a look now. 39 and 42. That's good, it's going down. I think. Is it, is it going up? I can't remember. Warren is evil as the day. That didn't make sense, did it? Okay, and there's another city there. I don't want to accidentally liberate any of these cities, so I'm going to go ahead and send him off in this direction. And there's that city. Get a little spying on the enemy there. See their units coming out. And we've discovered that. And let's see here. I guess they probably better go up here. So we're going to send him up here to discover these cities. And I guess nobody's wanting to attack. Oh, great. It's taxes again. Welp. I'm going to send Gilbert home. No, it's not going to matter. I'm going to not just, just not be able to afford more than a couple of these units here. This is going to suck. I might have to send Warren home, too. Of course, I could just... Sacrifice... Yeah, okay, so... Let's just send Gilbert home. This is embarrassing, guys. I apologize. Send Gilbert. Not him. Gilbert. We can always redeploy if we want to. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Gilbert. See if that works. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna send Warren. And I think that hopefully will be enough. It'll be it'll be tight. I can always redeploy if if, if I change my mind. Okay. Okay. So now the good news is I've got enough units, you know, coercively sent home now that I don't have to worry about the tax issue anymore. I'm gonna send Cohen up here to reinforce this one city that we do have. Um, in other words, um, I've gotten to an equilibrium point in my budget. Okay, and I've now, I think, uh, hit up all of the cities that are hidden. So as you can see, there's quite a few. Uh, you just gotta find them. Okay, so... All of the units are like trying to ch track down my opinion leader. I'm going to send him off to the corner where the Brunhild was and see if I can get some experience for this guy. Okay, so I'm just going to clear this unit real quick. And Victor. Come on, Victor. You can do it. Victor, Victor. He's... A oh, fuck. Victor died. Okay. Well, I guess I better revive Victor. I was uh, just about to say, though, Victor, Victor, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Okay, let's see if Victor's got a little bit more pep to him this time. Let's we'll use the lover's card and see if I can get the, the giants on my side. There we go. And we had a pretty uh, painful magic attack there, but that's fine. Yeah, that's cowards. Okay. I'm going to move my guy so he doesn't get this battle. And let Formine take him out. Come on, Formine. Formine, Formine, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Alright, very nice, Formine. Always on the lookout for people gaining uh, levels. Level 9. 
and he is not going to be eligible for wizard sta or for uh, mage status at all. But he will be eligible to become an extremely powerful ninja. But I'm going to keep him as a wizard for now until the time arises where he's eligible for ninja master, and then we'll switch him. Okay, so I'm going to send what's his name, my opinion leader, back down here. Yeah, we'll just see what the enemy decides to do. I think they're just thoroughly confused by the instability of my opinion leader. I'm only losing a tiny amount of money, so I'm not too worried about the uh, financials right now. I'm trying to goad them into attacking somebody besides my opinion leader. Lance really needs some um, leveling as well. Okay, four mine, you can do it. Good job, four mine. I keep running into this problem where I just can't get wizards who are in that magic area where they need to be for alignment wise to become um, powerful mages. That's okay. Alright, they got to Joseph. Good for them. We'll move him over. It's kind of funny, it's like cat and mouse. <coughs> I'm okay though, because any time we can get lands, it's a little bit more experience. That's good for for me. Okay, that is not good. They're right about to take my base, so... You know, I'm going to send Joseph in just to make sure they don't win a battle and take my base. Because Lance is doing a nice job as well. Good. Okay, we're fine. We're stable. They're not going to get to my base. I'm going to send uh, Cohen after this guy. Basically means I'm going to straight shot him up to the enemy base and hopefully he'll get a more efficient angle. It'll cause a collision. Okay. And Lands has another battle with this unit. Good good job, Lands. Let's get him, Lands. Take him out. I think uh, their octopus can't hit when the battle occurs on land. Okay, so he got to a city before I could get to him, so he recruited some, some guys. But now he can't recruit anybody because the leader's dead. And we're going to keep pursuing him. So we'll be fine there. Come on, Cohen, take him out. Good job, Cohen. Let's see if I can get a mage. Uh, I'll have to do that next time. I'm going to try to get a mage up there. Okay, not bad lands. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at those high alignment. What? I don't understand how an imp can lead such a high alignment group. That's weird. Oh, well. That's the nature of this game is you can't always control how characters develop. So you just got to mix and match over time. Good job, Cohen. Or not Cohen, but whoever you are. Four mine. Okay, lands. Take them out. I'm going to do a... Uh, what are we going to do? Let's do a... Let's do a magician. And let's do a Emperor. And get you an extra attack in there. Okay, good job. Come on, Cohen. Oh, am I still pursuing that octopus? I can't remember. Okay, we our knight died. That's good. Must not be pursuing him anymore. I, I better send him back. Okay, if I wanted to be really ambitious, I could go ahead and take um, the shop city. Just right there. Actually, I could make that temple kind of a stepping stone. Why don't I do that? I'll take the temple. Cohen can be kind of my uh, garrison. Okay. Victor. Take him out, Victor. Yes. Level up. Yes. Now they're coming along. So we're getting some good levels there. We're making good progress. Cohen, Cohen is kicking ass, but it, it, the one wizard is in danger of dying. So hopefully he doesn't get targeted. I don't think he can necessarily. I'm going to use an all heal. <coughs> okay, go ahead, Cohen, take him out. 
The one surefire way to develop this character's low alignment is to continue battling with him well after he has surpassed the enemy unit level. So I'm hoping that knight will get a little bit more evil. He's a knight for purely for leveling purposes right now. I have no desire to keep him as a knight. Um, okay. So I did a good job there taking out some enemy units. Now I'm going to go ahead and send my liberation guy up here along with Cohen. And then I might, I might in fact take that shop city too. Doesn't matter if Cohen liberates the temple because temple liberations are not governed by the uh, rules related to um, alignment affecting reputation. Good strength. Found a demon helm. Very nice. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this city so I can make a little bit more money. I'm going to send Cohen up there as well. But then I'm going to deploy somebody to guard the temple. And since I'll have a new city, I'll, I'll be able to afford that. In fact, I think I'm going to try... Try Gilbert again. World is good. I'll help with my other character stats. Send him back there, and... You know, I just realized I don't have enough money to deploy anybody. Well, damn. I guess I'll have to make do with my main character. Okay, for mine, take him out. Good. Should help with the uh, alignment issue there, too. Good. Level up. That means lower alignment in the future. And, if, and when I say future, I very much mean future. Yay, we made 10,000 bucks. Now we can deploy somebody. So I'll go ahead and deploy Gilbert to the temple. Okay. Making good progress, folks. Okay, this is kind of nice. Joseph will weaken them up, and then Gilbert will take them out. Clean them up, Gilbert. Take them out. Wow, I can't believe they got the entire unit. Gilbert is a surprisingly good unit. I never think they're going to be that good, and it tends to be better than I think. Good job, Victor. I'm just a little surprised you won that battle. Keep up the nice work. Don't die and such. Okay, Victor, take him out. Time to start taking out the units. Good job, Victor. We got a new one. Let's give you a uh, chariot. Okay, good job, Victor. Keep up the good work. Good job, Victor. Okay, Victor. Take him out. Oh, crap. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, so Victor just cleaned up a bunch of enemy units, and his unit, his level is coming up nicely. Look into the 10s and 11s. That is where we want it to be, so I'm going to go ahead and move him. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep him there. Just to, I think we might be pretty close to being done with the enemy units, but let me go ahead and just... I'm going to send a spy up here. neutral character in the mountain. It's going to be an imp. I'll go ahead and take him. Could be useful. Okay, not seeing any units there, so I'm, I'm on the verge of getting ready to send some units back to the base so I can make a little bit of money before I go ahead and take on the enemy unit. By the way, the enemy in this... Oh, there's a... I knew somebody was out there. The enemy boss in this stage is a... Nixie, which is an upgraded mermaid, so just be aware of that. And I don't believe any specific character has to battle him or her. It. Okay, so we took that unit out. What do we got? Charisma? Nice. Maybe I should battle with this guy more often, because he has really high luck. And that means he's going to get items. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and return at least these two. Actually... I think I'm going to have Formine be my boss attacking unit. So 
I'm gonna send him right over to here. And Gilbert didn't really do much since I re redeployed him. But I am gonna go ahead and send him home. I'll just keep Cohen out there too, just in case. I think I'm gonna wait one more billing cycle before I actually attack. I'm going to keep my opinion leader on the base, just in case they have one more unit lurking around. Okay. I think I'm good to go. Um, so yeah, you don't have to use a special character to attack the boss in this level. You could use Aisha, just because you just got her. Kind of fun to try her out, but... Really, you don't need to. So I'm going to use what little time I do have and buy this really amazing item. There's these boots. I'm actually going to wait until the next billing cycle to do that. I'm going to send him home so I can make a little bit more money. And I'll use my main character to buy the item. See if I make it home in time. Yes, I will. Good. Okay. Let's see what taxes bring in. Thirty-two. Enough for for. Uh, God, I, I want to leave a little bit of money so I can deploy some units next stage, though. So I'll go ahead and get uh, three of these, and we're gonna just live real conservative next level. Okay, so. Uh, what we're going to do is wait until nightfall and have four mine attack this unit. Okay, time to attack. Why are you trying to stop us, says Porkius. Nice name, Porky. What did King Gran ever do for us? We've been hunted... Uh, we've been hunted by humans until now. But Endora has promised us a world where we will be safe. I can't allow you to stand in the way of that world. So she's basically, you know, cried foul mermaids have been persecuted for a very long time. In fact, have been hunted for meat or for whatever you use a mermaid for. Okay, so that's the one bad thing about a Nixie is they have a hit all card. And I really should have used a world card before that attack. But I'll go ahead and use it now. So they, the mermaids can attack single attack units, uh, single target. Oh, I need to change my tactics later. Whereas the Nixie gets everybody. And with the world card, there's just nothing that, that can be done. Um, to hit us. So I'm going to go ahead and attack again. I'll use an all heal and I'll use the other wor world card right away. Okay. We can use the world card. And they're not going to hit us there. It's like taking candy from a baby at this point, you know. There it is. Boom! Liberation. Do we get some money? No, we do not. Okay, well, that's fine. So, um, just a couple of notes. You can go back to the level and talk to some witch named Mango who will tell you about the uh, ogre battle, the prior story lead up to this one. You can also... Um, uh, if you didn't get the Brunhild on the way, you can go back and get it now. Um, that being said, let me just also take this time to criticize one aspect of this game, and that is, why is it called Ogre Battle? Shouldn't it be Creature Wars? The battle implies, like, only one little encounter. Anyway, that's all. Okay. So, so if you've been uh, watching, thanks, and just remember, Professor Snuggles has got his eye on you.